Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. Here we have six case study in different uh, type of the diastolic dysfunction. Uh, I am going to approach practical, easy way, and you understand all those uh, diastolic dysfunction that I explained in three different lecture about diastolic dysfunction. Now let's go case first one. Here we have a patient middle age with the exertional dyspnea. Look at the those finding on Doppler and uh, 2D and M mode. First of all, uh, does the patient has any type of the diastolic dysfunction or not? If if patient has or not, doesn't matter. What type of diastolic function grade uh, you take for this patient? And another one, there are two important finding on this case. Uh, what those are? Can you find it and mention at least two? There are more. Here, uh, for more information, left atrial volume index is 30 millimeter per meter square and tricuspid regurgitation pressure gradient was 25 millimercury. Number here we have number for E prime lat sept septal or medial and lateral. Here we have those other parameters and here is middle hepatic brain Doppler. Now let's go next one. Here we have an expression. 65 years old with chest pain, uh, echo performed, and we got this uh, finding. Does the patient has diastolic dysfunction or not? If it has, what type and what grade of diastolic dysfunction? All those numbers is there, obvious. And uh, second, does the patient has wall motion abnormality? If it has, which walls and which vessel involved? Here we have a young patient uh, with the palpitation, uh, the echo has been done, and here we have uh, those three uh, image. One of them clips on plaques, and another is M mode on the mitral, and uh, finally IVC. Does the patient has any abnormal finding or not? Uh, and how you interpret this finding just based on this uh, uh, three images and clip. Case four, patient middle age with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and exceptional dyspnea. Does the patient have diastolic dysfunction or not? What grade? And how much you guess uh, most probably left atrial pressure will be on this case? Here we have patient with AFib. And as you can see, those finding has been mentioned here. Does the patient has left atrial pressure increased or not? Uh, what are those your criteria for uh, this uh, conclusion will be. Here we have a patient 73 years old with hypertension and shortness of breath. Patient has been hospitalized and treatment by the diuretic and antihypertensive start after a few days. Uh, the echo start, uh, echo repeat. Here is before treatment and here is after treatment. What type of the diastolic dysfunction before treatment patient has and one type after treatment and what happened here? Now let's go for explanation. 